It is unavoidable. It is your destiny. Welcome to the Your Destiny Podcast YouTube channel. We'll be showing you competitive games and test games between some of Europe's best Star Wars Destiny players. My name is Klaus, I'm the host of the Your Destiny Podcast, and today I will be your commentator. Mass and Jan are getting ready for their second game in this best of three between the Heartwarmers, E Yoda, E Padme, and uh, the revised version of Five Die Villain. Mass, in a very, very exciting first game, took the win, uh, even though that uh, he had to recover from a really, really good start from, from Jan, having a lot of uh, upgrades discarded from his hand. They're now about to start their second game. Uh, we can see that Mass, he mulliganed for his hand. He's now having a promotion, a D17, a probe, a vandalize, and a logistics, a very strong starting hand. The promotion making sure he can draw into another card. Um, so Jan, he's mulliganing. He has his double dealings to make money. He has a force illusion. No, he opts to mulligan it out. Let's see what four cards he's drawing into. So he has a defend. He has a dive uh, for that huge, huge uh, removal of three uh, rain sites and ambush. He has a mask goggles. He has a force meditation in hand. So right now they both have basically everything they need. So sure, defend is a bit of a uh, of a dead card. Mass actually chose not to mulligan a single card out of his hand. That's a very strong signal to send to, to Jan that he actually has a very, very strong starting hand. Uh, so uh, Jan having lost the first game he gets to choose they are going to play in, in Imperial Palace Imperial Palace the claim is that you can look at an opponent's hand and discard a card from it uh, very very strong and remember that the hard warmers it's a fast mill deck compared to the rainbow hero mill which plays are very very slow which is an a defensive deck which is shielding up this is a much faster mill deck there goes the, the double dealings the question is can um uh, can mass vandalize it fast enough before he rolls out and he gets his uh, um, before he gets his resource out of it and thereby actually paying for it mass is showing one range damage uh, yeah uh, he's going he's not going to play the upgrade he's going to roll out Yoda seeing if he can get a resource he does get a resource so basically recouping the the cost of the double dealing it's now not so interesting for mass to get rid of it not this round at least and not sacrificing one range damage for that there's a one discard showing and a special mass is uh, is setting up for the uh, for for this round using the promotion to draw card uh, promotion being one of the favorites cards of mass we already know that from the podcast uh, if you want to know why uh, go to episode five in your destiny podcast and find out okay jan he's going to resolve the yoda special he's going to discard a card from mass's hand he's going to grab another resource he's now showing four resources that's enough for dive it's enough to play uh, whatever he needs uh uh, no, he can't do that because he already took a resource. He already milled a card from uh, Mass's deck. If he wants to flip the die, then he will need to uh, to not take the resource or not discard the uh, uh, or not uh, mill a card from uh, from Mass's deck. Um, so right now he is going to. Yeah, okay, so so he stays at that. He has the one discard still showing. Mass is going to get uh, his board state improved as fast as possible. The same goes for, for Jan. He's going to take the Force Meditation down. Force Meditation is such a strong upgrade with, uh, with Amidala and, and Yoda. Uh, the special is going to mill two cards from... Uh, uh, from Mass's deck, so it's it's a super super aggressive uh, mill deck. He can he can do some nasty assaults on on Mass's deck. Essentially, now uh, milling one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards from uh, from deck. Wow, that probe was really really nasty. Uh, Sniffing out that dive that was essential for for Mass that was the mitigation card that Mass was or that uh, Jan he was sitting back with in his hand thinking that all is good if he can just make sure that Mass he presents as much range damage as possible and then removing all of the base damage sites with the with a with a well placed dive, so that really um, that is not going to sit well with. Um, 
with Jan losing that one, at least he's showing a true, uh, true focus. He's showing the special on the force meditation, so he can mill from uh, from Mass's deck. Now there are 23 cards in the deck. Um, I think that uh, that Jan he's going to to hit Mass aggressively this turn, having having lost the first game. He is on his heels here. He knows that he has to to find a way back into the game. Um, Mass, he's contemplating whether or not to vandalize the maybe sacrificing, but he doesn't have any resource. He has a resource showing on Sienna, though, and he has a blank die. He could take the resource and use the Sienna blank to vandalize either the master's goggles or the double dealings. Double dealings is really, really important in this uh, this Heartwarmers deck because that is what sets up for these rounds where you can easily secure enough resources, mill uh, your opponent's deck, and then hyperspace jump the hell out of there. So so, um, so I think that Mass will either be looking at Master's goggles or he'll be looking at double dealings as a potential uh, uh, a potential vandalized target. Uh, there goes Bala showing a plus two on the DH17, a resource and a focus. That there's now two focus on the tables. So there's one black uh, side showing, so that's three damage secured with the two focuses. That's uh, five, six, seven damage. They can all be sunk into uh, into Yoda. That could make for some nasty plays. Okay, so let's see. Um, that could be two resource from the logistics on the Sienna die. Uh, Jan, he's now showing two uh, two times two focuses, a special, a, a discard, uh, and a blank. I think that right now, Jan, he has to consider sort of really strongly how he's going to to make this uh, this play the best possible is there enough uh, to present lethal uh, it would be four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen potentially but that's never going to happen and he's not going to pitch cards to reroll um, that will be a maximum one card pitch to reroll uh, so there goes the hidden motive. He's trying to get as much as possible here. He's not going to use the focuses. Uh, they will be used to fix his dice later on. He knows there's no mitigation anymore from uh, uh, from Jan. His hand is empty. There's another one showing. So he now has four damage showing. That's uh, six, seven, eight potentially. Uh, so uh, no more vandalize. Uh, that vandalize is gone from the Amidala um uh, discard so he just pitches the last card he needs to show more damage but i think that there's um there can't be that's uh, three uh, four five six seven eight nine a maximum showing if he uses his focuses into plus twos right now he can present uh three four five six seven eight damage using the focuses uh so um, he's going to ping on the Night Sister after having used the Amidala focus. Uh, then uh, mass. So uh, Jan used the Amidala focus, focusing uh, into a resource and a special. And then the ping is going to ping the Yoda die. It shows another special, which he's going to use to uh, to uh, mill card from the deck, and he's going to uh, take a resource. Another special, of course, in the special chaining. There goes the. He doesn't like you. I'm doubt. These are not the cards that are so important for for mass. He wants to see more upgrades. Um, the question is how how much hurt can he put on um, on Yoda this turn, or is he going for Medalla? Medalla. She's the one with all the upgrades right now. A ping on the Balodai turns into absolutely nothing. Uh, Jan is grabbing another resource, which means that next turn he's going to start with four resources. That is going to be enough for a bit of mitigation and a potential hyperspace jump or second chance played. So right now there's a, there's a really, really uh, nice setup for Jan for, uh, for the future round. There's four damage showing right now. That can be six, eight damage um, if, uh, if he used the focuses to flip into the plus twos. Uh, no, he's going to disrupt the resources. He's not going to have uh, have Jan going into the next round with too many resources. Uh, that might actually be a very very good play. Um, so what? So now, but now there's a two resource. Uh, no, there's a 
There are two focuses sitting there. He's going to flip uh, into a plus two and a plus two, and that then sinks seven damage into Padme, most likely. Is Amidala going to take a hit of seven uh, this time round? Yeah, that's going to be Amidala, who's going to take a big hit here. Uh, she is taking six damage already. I think that Jan he will hope to be uh, to be drawing into a second chance. There's no second chance, but there is a hyperspace jump. He has all the best cards in hand right now, uh, apart from the second chance. He has the scruffy looking nerf herd. He has scrap heap. He has a uh, friends in low places and a um, an easy pickings. Now uh, Jan he's going to probably play friends in low places. He want to be able to map out um, the. Uh, the hand of uh, um, of Mass, he can see that Mass also drew in some really good cards, but there is probably the bait and switch. Bait and switch gone, but he still has an LL30. He has a holdout blaster. Uh, he has a hidden motive and a probe. The probe could be so valuable, uh, taking care of the hyperspace jump, maybe even taking care of the scruffy looking nerf herder. Mass, he plays the LL30. If he had still had his bait and switch in hand, he would probably have played the uh, the holdout blaster. Um, but uh, but there are more. So there goes scruffy looking nerf herder and the uh, and the easy pickings. That was a damn good probe that's exactly why you bring probes in aggressive decks like the five die villain in bro gk to be able to take care of all of these uh, uh these sides or these uh, these events that are going to wreck face um did uh, did jan maybe forget to use the double dealings here he did roll a, an amidala special uh there's a blank showing, there's a resource, and there's a shield. Mass, he uh, activates uh, uh, Balatic. He does have plus four showing, but no base damage side. So uh, right now, ah, he now he realized that he uh, that he didn't take the resource for I mean, the Amidala special, which is really important because now he can mill two and he still can afford to uh, to hyperspace jump the hell out there. Oh, the second uh, bait and switch gone. That is such an essential play, or that's such an essential uh, uh, mill from from Mass's deck. The the bait and switch are such an integral part of the uh, five die villain. Um, He's going to see if he can present uh, lethal damage, uh, seeing if he can uh, find a base damage side. There are two base damage sides on, on Sienna's dice. So let's see. There's also a focus showing. There's one base damage side. It's five damage. I think we'll see hyperspace jump immediately. He needs to get just the hell out of there. He needs to ensure that uh, that Amidara uh, lives to fight another day. So... Um, uh, restart. Uh, that's the end of the round. Gone with uh, um, discarding the scrap heap, trying to draw into something. Not a lot of mitigation. The determination in uh, uh, in Jan's hand could prove decisive, though. He's going to activate. Uh, he has to take his resources. He's going to activate Amidala, seeing if he can hit that uh, special. Uh, maybe the special on. Yeah, there's an Amidala special. There's a uh, Mars's goggle special. He will be able to special chain next round. Um, so on next turn, sorry. Uh, the LL30 is being played. Uh, Balotic is going to uh, to uh, to get his dice in the pool. Because Mass, he doesn't have any resources right now, uh, after having played the upgrade, the holdout blaster with its two for one um, uh, range damage is not looking good. Neither is the three for one on the XX, uh, X8 Night Sniper. So I think that having two black uh, base uh, range sites on the LL30 is exactly why Mass is playing that. So he has two LL30s at DH17 and the Barlow dice in the pool right now. Uh, there's the special chaining. There wasn't any lethal damage presented on uh, Mass's uh, rollout. He's going to mill. That's the friends in low places that is gone. Is he going to pay one more for the... Yes, he's going to pay one to mill two. Um, that's a strong signal for Mass that there isn't a uh, hyperspace jump in his hand. He's also going to have another look at Mass's hand to discard the cheapest cards. That's the hidden motive. Um... So uh, right now, Mass has three strong upgrades in hand, but he doesn't have any resources. So it can be a really, really difficult uh, situation for Mass. He could present so m so many dice in the pool if he could just generate the resource. A logistics would have been golden right now, but that would of course have been removed with the uh, with the Mass goggles. Uh, Sienna's dice into the pool to see if he can fix as much as possible. 
there's a plus two, there's a plus one of the promotion and a blank showing. He does still have uh, have the night sister where he can ping. Um, Jan is not going to have any of it. He's going to force illusion uh, uh, part me to keep her alive. No, he's going to override. Uh, why is that? That's because he wants to keep uh, money for the force meditation, most likely the second force meditation on Yoda, to make sure that he can get rid of Master's deck. Um, let's see. So the Master's goggles is out. Um, Mass is simply going to uh, uh, to resolve what he can. Right? He's going to see if he can play around easy pickings, not presenting too much of the same. So he has a plus one. No, the, yeah, no, he does put three damage on uh, on Amidala. Doesn't want to run the risk of uh, of going into uh, to an easy pickings. Or oh, Jan, he's considering taking the damage on Amidala. That could be really, really dangerous. He has to use the four solution because there are so many one-sided range damage in in Mass's uh, pool that he can re-roll into. There's two on Bala. There's one on Sienna. There will be one on. Night Sister on top, of course, the two and the Night Sister, and that means that if he doesn't use the Force Illusion now, a lot of dice can kill uh, Amidala outright. He does use the Force Illusion. That was a very, very wise choice of Jan to keep Amidala alive as long as possible. It would have been such a, it would actually have been a misplay if he didn't take the damage on uh, on the Force Illusion. Um, so let's see. Uh, Jan did actually not play the Force Meditation. He's going to activate. Uh, Yoda, that is a bit of a surprise, actually. I thought that he would either play Scruff, Looking Nerf Herder, or the Force Meditation. No, he changed his mind. Force Meditation. No, okay. He, no, yeah, now it's going down. <laughs> he Okay, it is being played. The Force Meditation is now being played on Yoda to ensure that when Yoda rolls into the pool that he will be able to uh, special chain into uh, discarding as many cards from uh, Mass's deck as possible. He needs to make a strong assault on Mass's deck. That determination can also annihilate Mass's hand. Uh, Mass could be looking at a very, very, uh, uh, very dangerous end game where he is down to just a few cards in his hand. I think Mass is considering right right now whether to pitch. No, he wants all his dice in the pool. That's a very wise choice. Before he starts pitching any cards to reroll, he needs to make sure that he has m as many dice in the pool as possible to get the maximum effect out of it. He right now only has a plus one showing, but he does have the uh, the special on the other thirty, being able to focus into a two on uh, on the night sister. There's a special showing on Yoda, so that's an automatic two mil with the uh, with the force meditation. So there's the pitch to reroll. Uh, let's see what uh, what kind of damage uh, Massey can find. He found a one range damage on the Sienna die and not a whole lot of other things. There are just the uh, the shields. One thing that uh, that Jan has to keep in mind here is that if and or I should say when Amidala dies, there will be a battle reactivation and he is tooled up right now he is going to roll out again on his reactivation with five another five dice in the pool so uh, Jan he's going to uh, to take a shield in Amidala he needs to keep her alive as possible as long as possible and he's going to mill no that was a backup muscle Ooh, that's a bit of a tricky situation because um I think that uh, that mess yeah, so he's going to focus into the uh, the the two focus in order to use the t the determination. Uh, Mass he should be pitching a card to reroll now because he's going to lose the last card in his uh, his hand uh, or the last cards in his hand. So he really needs to uh, pitch to reroll now. Just keep the LL thirty special, keep the one damage, keep the plus one damage showing on the CN and the promotion. Reroll the rest. There are four dice right now. They just have to be rerolled um, because uh, he should have. He 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 probably knows that there is a determination. Mass is a, he's he's a good player. He he knows the the build up of the deck and he saw the deck in the first uh, the first game. Uh, what is he going to pitch now, or is he just going to resolve the two damage? Yeah, it looks like he's resolving the two. So there's his hand gone. That means that he's 
left with the Knights says the Pings. Um, Mass will probably be grinding his teeth in a second when he sees that determination coming in. Ah, oh, and there goes Mass's hand, totally annihilated from a strong determination play. Mass should have seen it coming. Um, I think that that once he gets a, a minute to sit. Um, sit there then he will have realized why was it that it was focused into a two uh, two focus rather than continuing with the milling from the deck uh, so uh, there's an x8 night sniper there's a holdout blaster that was two upgrades that mass really could have used later on um all right let's see what uh, what mass can uh, can come up with now he can still conjure up two damage uh, with the ll30 into a two ranged on the night sister he does have the night sister pings should he just ping the um, the balletic die to get that one ranged or two plus two ranged or the focus side to make sure he has a kill uh, there's a shield uh, I think that he needs he keep he needs to keep pinging uh, the defenders uh, discarded that's a dead card in his hand so he can't use it a two focus a uh, one shield and one shield so that's essentially right now it can be turned into uh, two specials showing on the force meditations that's four cards from uh, from mass's hand uh, from mass's deck that's going to hurt that's a very strong assault in mass's deck mass uh, uh, now showing three shield, a special, and a one disrupt. Uh, there's no need to use Scruffy looking. Or is he going to take the shields to try and keep Amidala alive? Uh, that could, of course, be a possibility. And then just pitching to reroll the Yoda special or into the Yoda special. Now he's going to to do the safe play, which is to get into the two. Uh, uh, to this or the the, the four uh, four mil from mass deck actually into the two specials on the force meditations. Um, let's see here, mass. He's probably contemplating now. He's counting the cards in his deck. How many cards does mass have left in his deck in order to make sure that he will be going into the next round? Uh, he also has to see if that kill this round is so essential that he needs to sink the damage in this round. A lot of things could happen uh, right now. Uh, it's obvious. No, oh, he's actually doing a he's making a ping on the force meditation to see if he could get it off the reroll uh, off the special. But there's four cards gone from Mass's deck. Let's see. That was back of muscle doubt and intimidate. I didn't see the last one. Uh, let's see how many cards Mass has left in his deck. He has four cards left in his deck. That's for one round. He's going to ping the Night Sister to reroll the uh, Barla die. That makes sense. It's a one uh, range. It's a plus two range, and it's a focus. But he rerolls it into a uh, a resource. Um, I think he needs to to go all in here. He needs to find the three damage to uh, to to have that kill on uh, on the Night Sister. Uh, oh, so, sorry, on, on Amidala, because uh, the Amidala kill is going to make sure that he gets the reactivation. And there's the risk that, yes, Jan is claiming, he's showing that he doesn't have anything left in his hand. So Mess is going to... Okay, so that's going to be the... Yes, there's the special. So that's uh, presenting lethal now, making sure that he's going to get the, uh, the kill. He could uh, sink... Uh, two, he could change the Bala into a plus two, he could change the Night Sister into a two, and that is essentially no, no, the night, sorry, the Night Sister, of course, can't be changed by the LL30, so it has to be a uh, two and a plus two. How can that be facilitated then? Now he is going to ping again, he finds the focus, he can focus the Bala. Uh, die into a plus no a two and a plus two so that one is a two that one's going to be a uh, no how is he ah oh, he should have chosen the plus two right there's three damage into um uh into the uh the amidala that makes sure there's a kill he did spend the focus though uh, how was that focus turned that focus was turned into the yes that was turned into the night sister die uh, 
question is whether he should have kept the uh, the focus in the pool or whether he should keep the focus in the pool because with the reactivation on Bala and only one reroll left on the Knight sister um, then that that might actually be very very valuable he has just one shot at this to sink as much damage as possible with Bala into uh, into Yoda uh, five dice in the pool there is a lot of possible incoming damage but he just has this one shot so he has to make it count how much damage can he find he can find plus two he can find three oh, but that's also a whole lot of damage that's going to be five damage and resource that's uh, that's not bad from the reactivation so that one focuses into a plus two that's five damage into yoda and a resource going into the next turn uh this round was really really a bad round for jan losing both amidala losing half health on uh, on yoda now i think that that he has to look at only four cards left in hand that's uh, that's not bad but there's the the backup muscle showing um, there's a vandalize ah oh, that could be really really bad the vandalize can take uh, take care of some some really strong cards where there's a lone operative did he draw into a dive no there's a defend there's an overconfidence there's scruff looking north herd and a determination the determination could actually be a potentially uh, game changing uh, card if he can make sure that uh, that he doesn't have any cards left in his hand can he he can do one with the uh, uh, if he plays mask goggles he can do one and he can do one with scruffy looking now what is he guessing for had did he know that he does have one uh, backup muscle so he'll guess for support no i think that uh, is he going to check out yeah he's going to check out the deck now so he will be looking through the deck he'll be realizing that he's probably playing with two backup muscles he doesn't want to see the last backup muscle down he'll uh, he won't care about the four solution uh, some decks they use just one four solution so it might be a bit difficult to map out but he doesn't want to see that uh, backup muscle down um there's of course the tricky thing here he could be playing with two x8 night snipers but no he is guessing for an upgrade and there is only the four solution mass will not be sorry to see that one go now he can play the uh, the backup muscle no he is actually choosing to activate bala to get some dice in the pool maybe to vandalize uh, uh, any potential uh, card out there but then why wouldn't he uh, put Sienna into the pool? I'm not really sure. But he presents almost lethal here. It's two damage showing. It's one blank and it's two shields. The shields could actually be used on the Night Sister just to fix his dice. Uh, he's going to override the Force Meditation. The Force Meditation doesn't have any discard side showing on it. So it's worthless right now. It doesn't have a lot of it, uh, a lot of things going for it. The special is so awesome as long as your opponent has cards in the deck. Right now the uh, the Master's Goggles is going to be much more important being able to uh, to pick cards from from mass's hand mass is going to roll out to see if he can find that last three damage that he's uh, that's five six damage showing right there he still has an overconfidence he can overconfidence the two plus twos away um, if he can roll into some bad sides on Sienna which is not impossible Sienna only has two ranged uh, sides showing one uh, ranged and a plus two ranged so an overconfidence here could be exactly the break that um, uh, that Jan is looking for but this is the round to do it because Jan is on his heels here um, he's th there's actually not much to contemplate because if, if Jan is not overconfidencing uh, the two plus twos he is uh, he's out of this game um, so he needs to get rid of it uh, the two base damage sides would be really bad because there's so many damage sides showing on both Bala and uh, um, and the LL30 so he needs to see if he can re-roll into crap potentially or hopefully two blanks let's see what is he showing that's two resources right now two resources cannot really be used for anything he's removing one resource so there's one resource die left he is going to flip that into a plus two showing four damage um, are there anything that yoda can do he can roll out he can get a special on the uh, um Ah, uh, yeah, but he needed that two focus right. Was now four damage being sunk into uh, uh, into Yoda. He's left at one health, 
And on top of that, the Knight Sister is still to roll out. So um, Massey will have four dice in the pool. He will have a Sienna die, a Balotic die, and D8-17, and the Knight Sister die, with one ping left on the Knight Sister. Um, there's a determination for one. Oh, the question is if he should not have used the... Um, the Yoda die to uh, turn that into a two focus instead and thereby being able to remove as many cards as possible and the last card with uh, uh, with the uh, Imperial Palace he'll be able to take two shields on Yoda okay he forgot the resource I don't think that Massey minds right now Mass is just looking for that last damage so two shields going in on Yoda uh, and then he will take two resources. He will be able to claim out for one card from uh, Mass's hand. Uh, so Mass is left with one card and four dice in the pool, but two damage showing. Uh, so the two shields, of course, they need to go on uh, on Yoda right now. Otherwise, Yoda's out of the game, and thereby uh, Jan lose the second of these. Uh, uh, second game in this top three or uh, best of three uh, let's see uh, yes of course just take the two damage and see if you can take a shield maybe on the dh17 ping one of bala's dice to find that last damage either rolling a one damage or a focus um, he does have the resource though so the d yeah but he needs the shield doesn't so you should maybe take the shield and the bala die and then ping the okay so there's a claim from Jan he's going to take out the uh, he doesn't like you there's only one vandalize left um, is this going to be possible oh there goes mass pitching the last card to reroll that is a dangerous play that's a really really bold move but he is rewarded for it he does find five damage that's the end of game two and that's the the end of the best of three that's um that's two nil to mass Uten against jan drangmeister i would say though that there were a few situations where i felt that mass he was sort of on the on the lucky side and i do think that to this story also should go the footnote that we did play a few test games in order for uh, for mass and jan to to get into the rhythm of the game uh, and of these two decks and Jan actually did win two games against Mass. so honestly Mass Utsun it's 2-2 you guys you need to take a rematch at one point to find out who was the real winner of this matchup between five die villains played by Mass Utsun and the hard warmers the E-Yoda E-Amidala uh, uh, um, uh, mill deck played by Jan Drangmeister. Uh, thank you so much for uh, for listening to us and uh, and watching our uh, our YouTube video. We hope you liked it. Please subscribe and uh, see you around soon. You have been watching the Your Destiny Podcast YouTube channel. Thank you for watching and remember you can find our podcast on iTunes and SoundCloud. You can also find articles, deck lists and competitions on our Facebook page. It's Your Destiny at Your Star Wars Destiny. If you like what you saw, please like us and please subscribe. And remember, you cannot escape your destiny.